Hello and welcome to all you Gemini's. This is your yearly horoscope. Um, I was so curious about, I wanted to know what's going to happen in 2018. And uh, so I decided to make the horoscopes for 2018. It's a bit early, I know, but I'm sure some of you are as curious as me and certainly Gemini's because Gemini's are known to be very, very curious. So let's get started. Of course, there's a lot happening. I can't push it all into these 10 minutes because I don't want these videos to be too long. But uh, so if you want to tailor made and if you're really, really interested to know what's going to happen, get in touch. If not, if you're saying, yeah, I want to know a bit the flavor, what's in general, take it as it's in general, okay? So you Gemini's, what's happening? what's happening in 2018. Let's get started with the Saturn trying Uranus. Uranus is about changes, Saturn is about holding, um, keeping on towards what's good and continuing with the old. And when they form a beautiful trine uh, in 2018, and especially that will be felt around August, September time, uh, of 2018, when that beautiful trine is formed, it means that there is a balance between new things and old things. So that's something to look forward to. And for you, this is happening behind the scenes. This is happening in your eighth house and in your 12th house, which are water houses and emotional houses. So there's something about you, Gemini's, that behind the scenes, there is a combination of old things and new things combining with each other. So the eighth house where um, Saturn is, is a very complex house. It's the house of psychology. Uh, it's the house of fears. It's the house of strength. So with Saturn there, you will have to work very hard to accomplish that. But Gemini, is, it, it is a sign that, that is not afraid of um, exploring. So, and as Saturn in the eight is normally quite, it, it's challenging. It's going to have help of Uranus in your 12th house, which the 12th house, which is uh, the, the things that you do yourself, uh, quietly, you know, privately, um, reading a book at home, taking a nice bath, all these kind of things, because it's in Taurus. Uranus shifts into Taurus and um, Taurus is your 12th house of relaxation. So. If you're having a bit of trouble when it comes to intimacy, when it comes to um, psychological stuff that is deep, uh, when it comes to some little or big fears, you could go towards the relaxation energy and that's going to balance that out so it won't be that challenging for you. So that's a beautiful thing for you Gemini's because Gemini is ruled by Mercury and that is the nervous system. So you're having a, a bit of a gift here in 2018 that those two planets are quite working together. Um, and that's nice. So that's on a very psychological level. When it comes to health and your work, um, it's not bad because you've got Jupiter in your sixth house of health and work. And Jupiter is a very expansive, positive planet. So have you been ill, for instance, or have you suffered from a certain disease? With Jupiter there, it means um, expansive, transformative experiences because it's in Scorpio in your sixth house. So that's one thing. When it comes to work, you could gain more work with Jupiter in your sixth house. And that Jupiter is very beautifully aligned with Neptune and with Pluto. And again, um, with Neptune in the 10th house of work and Pluto in the 8th house, also what I just talked about. So actually what I want to say is that when it comes to work in general, of course, for the Gemini's, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good of having meaning because Jupiter is the planet of finding meaning in something. And having Jupiter going through the 6th house is like work becomes more meaningful because you're probably doing something that you, you like. Um, uh, so a lot of you will change jobs, but in a smoothly way, a lot of you will um, um, get more meaning from their job, get, they're getting a promotion even, um, and it might be a big one actually, with Jupiter uh, in those good aspects with Pluto. And um, Jupiter trining Neptune, which is kind of a magical aspect to have in those 
quite very rational houses could mean that because you implement a bit more magic in your work, a bit more inspiration, a bit more creativity, a bit more compassion in your work, then you will you'll gain more on all levels, material, but also being content with what you're doing. So actually it's a, a call for the Geminis to do something more compassionate, to do something more that has to do with creativity. And if you're up to doing so, go for it because it's really supported here. Um, okay, and then when it comes to love, you could say what's happening when it, when it comes to love for the Geminis. I don't see anything uh, negative here. Uh, in general again because you had last year and the year before that you had Saturn in your seventh house so actually normally in general the testing of the relationship is done and that's a positive one isn't it so relationship ships should go easier for you Gemini's should be less restrictive less responsibility should flow a little bit more that Saturn is out of your seventh house because the seventh house is a key house it's a key area of life and when that burden is gone of course then Saturn is in another house but it's not a key area of your life then it, it really is a relief and um, so there are probably a lot of uh, a lot of you who had some complications with relationships or who had some re just responsibilities or or Saturn in the seventh Often is also when your partner had a difficult time, was having a depression or a burnout or whatever. With Saturn in the seventh house, I've often seen that as well. And that's gone now. So it looks like uh, if you're in a relationship that your loved one is happier. So that makes you happier too, right? Of course. So all in all, a pretty interesting year. I wish you all the best, you Gemini. I'm not going to talk about all the retrogrades because that would be that that's too detailed um, and 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 it's not really giving you the the, the overview. Um, so make the best out of it. I wish you all the best. If you want to have, you know, the 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 um, the real deal, just get in touch. And I wish you a very good 2018. Bye bye.